The houses of the wealthy citizens of ancient Rome were more varied and more comfortable than similar works of Greek architecture. The domus of city-dwelling citizens and the rural villas of aristocrats were spacious buildings consisting of one or two stories and a number of rooms. The walls were built of bricks and covered with plaster. The roofs, open above the yards, were covered with tiles. There were paned windows. The houses had several entrances with different functions. The axis of Roman houses consisted of the entrance gate, or ostium, the front yard, or atrium, and the backyard, or hortus. The most important rooms were arranged symmetrically. These included the kitchen and the dining room. The latter was not only used for eating, but also for entertaining guests. Bedrooms were usually arranged around the yards. Unlike the Greeks, the Romans did not separate men's and women's rooms. If there was a second story, the slaves' quarters were located there. A narrow passage led from the entrance gate to the uncovered rectangular front yard, the atrium. Rainwater falling from the roofs was collected in a pool or impluvium. The next room after the atrium was the tablinum, used as a reception room. It also connected the atrium to the backyard or hortus. The hortus was a small garden surrounded by a colonnade decorated with a fountain, artificial lake, and evergreen plants, and used by the family to relax. Ancient Roman houses seemed perfectly designed for families and served as models for the architecture of later ages.